Hello guys, welcome back to Solar Motion VFX Bringing you another Cinema 4D Film FX tutorial This is going to be a short one And this is about effectors today Previously we have gone through the simple source, object and particle Spline, gravity, wind Today we are going to talk about effectors So, today we are going to talk about specifically the gravity effector This is a powerful thing that you can use to create some really stunning effects with but we're gonna keep it simple so right now in my scene I have my film effects grid and I have a simple source if I just sim this then we just have some smoke I have disabled the fuel so we have just smoke rising up so if I want this gravity effect to affect it then uh, what it does is you can actually control it per voxel sized so this means right now if you wanna uh, go into the simulation and take the gravity and say minus uh, 5 for example then that's gonna affect the whole grid so let's play it again so now it's gonna just pull that smoke down to the floor but let's imagine that you only want a part of it let's say you want this top here to be affected so that's the power of effectors you can actually control the voxels of the smoke of your grid so let's do just that so we're going to add our effector and in, as always go into object source make sure your effector has been dragged down to your object list then you go to your effector tab here and right now it's the shape is free if it's free it means the whole grid is affected but we want to make a box so whatever's in the box is going to be affected so let's just increase the size here and let's just see where we have it I see around here so when the smoke rises up here and hits this line here it's gonna be affected by the gravity so the way we're gonna sh set this up is you go into down to first you're gonna give it a name the channel let's just call it grav uh, test and we're gonna copy this because we're gonna put this into the channels inside the film effects and make sure that it's on multiply and then for this color let's give it a negative say 45 we're gonna exaggerate it here and uh, this just means that this value will be multiplied into the Fumifix gravity source so let's say simulation and we go down to gravity and you see this little arrow here for all the parameters that this little arrow that's why you can put in channel names and use effectors you see it says effector here so just make sure that you take exactly the same word here grav test control copy Go into film fix and do the same control v paste it so that means right now it's the effector is it's being impacted inside this it is going to calculate and uh, the gravity right now is set to positive one but this value we have here negative 45 will be multiplied into this value the one in the gravity so it's a really strong one we just exaggerate the, the the effect to see how it's gonna work so let's try to test this so the smoke comes up hits the bottom and there you see that's the beauty of effectors really powerful so let's jump into the scene and see a use case where this could be a uh, use for among other things here I have a simple uh, uh, cauldron and a uh, you can we want smoke to come up here when it rises above the color it should be affected by the effector and hit the ground so uh, let's see a use case for that i made this little animation here for example you see how it comes up some green smoke here and then it's just gonna hit the floor so that's really some nice use cases here so what's cooking fuma fix green smoke nice okay so let's see how we're gonna set that up so basically we're gonna 
change our display to lines here. Let's add a flow. Like so. So the flow and ensure you make a a few more fixed tags, collision tab, so our smoke can uh, collide with it, so make it a solid. And the same with our cold drone here. Going to few fix, collision object, and solid. And let's go in and add a few fix here as well. And we also want a particle source. And then we want an emitter for this. Turn it 90 degrees, bring it up, let's see what we have here, okay, so we definitely need to play with this, make it a cone, and we want to have a little spread, spreadness in it, and we want a lot of particles here, so 3000. And we want it as long as our uh, timeline, 400 frames, uh, lifetime, we want to set that to 10 with a variation of 15. And the speed, we can set that to 400. Let's see what we have now. That 300. Yeah. I think we can live with that for now. All right, and go into the particle source, bring in your emitter, like so. And let's see, right now the radius is very tiny here, so we're gonna bump up the radius. Let's set it, let's try it with 12. That's good for now. And make sure inside the film fix object source that we have the particle source in there, the cube, and the cauldron. So these will be affected. And let's see here. So we have the cube, film fix, particle source. Uh, we set it to 12 centimeters. That's good for now. So inside the film fix, the general tab. Make sure that you have your frame of your timeline, 400. When we're going to go into the simulation, disable the fuel and this channel will disappear. So, let's see. In here. Mm, we're going to say that we want maximum ratio 150. And this is a new thing. The advection, we never touched that in all the other tutorials, but to make the smoke minimize the dispersion so it doesn't disperse that quickly, then we will actually choose conserv conservative and make sure the quality is uh, up to five. And introduce small vortices string and a little bit very subtle uh, turbulence. We can bring the scale down to five, detail levels up fuel make sure that's disabled okay and let's see here uh, the smoke buoyancy two and we don't want we're gonna zero out these values we don't want it we want the smoke to last as long as possible uh, for the temperature just the strength bring that down to zero and this gives us the basic setup um so let's just check one out our spacing right now it is the grid is down here so of course we need to expand that a lot bring it up like so and let's see what we have here with Don't need it to be that high, because we want to collide with the floor. 
okay and now you can see our simulation went up but we want a fast sim just for the sake of this tutorial so start with a fairly high in, uh, spacing okay so right now let's see what we have if we do a quick sim here it just goes up let's add a light source in here as well and make sure that it's so it's set to ray traced hard and make sure that we have it inside our Fimufix uh, objects, uh, sorry, illumination. Bring it in there. Step size 150. And just a small amount of jittering here. Okay. And let's see. For fire, we don't wanna, we're not gonna run that fire. And let's just give it whatever color you want here okay but as you saw it's just gonna keep rising up here so let's add in an effector and make sure we have the effector inside our Fumifix object source bring the effector down here go to the effector and the shape should be a box give it a name just like before Rev invert call it. You can call it whatever you want. Just remember to copy it and put it inside Fumifix gravity channel. Here we have it. Paste and let's go back to the effector and the multiplier again. Let's give it a negative 45 and it's set to multiplier. And now we just want to make sure we have the correct size here so we also want to accelerate this 500 um, 500 that covers that let's actually go a little bit nuts here and also good height and move it up like so and let's do another quick sim here see if it's gonna be affected so it tries to get up but it get pushed down so what we can do is go into the emitter and give it some more speed and let's do another one Four hundred fifty, and maybe even go to the effector, lower this to thirty-five. Yeah. So now we're starting to see something here. Let's play it again. And let's actually go back to the effector. Bump this up, 45. Yeah, so now it's definitely working. Now it's taking place, it has to change the display. And it's colliding. okay so that's actually the setup we were going for let's do a quick oh yeah and you can see it's actually looking really good even with that high spacing so we don't have that uh, amount of detail we want and because when you play with the speed inside the emitter you can get this bubbly feeling so it's like uh, maybe a magic soup in here uh, maybe do some witchcrafting so you can really play with this uh, and make your own little uh, uh, magic soup or whatever you want but uh, just play with this and at this point I would go into Fumifix and of course the general tab and decrease the spacing so you get 
much more detailing. So let's see if I set three centimeters. You could actually even go lower. I would say one point. That's two, two centimeters. Two point two. Yeah. Two point four. I will go with this value. Two point four. It's uh, eight gigs of SIM. That should be really good detailing here. You should get a really nice, uh, decent look of that. So I would definitely advise you to play with that. So that was it for this uh, tutorial, guys. Um, let me just remind you, please go in and check my channel and see all the other tutorials we've been through. During these couple of weeks, we have we have covering everything from Arnold rendering, Octane, dry eyes, a couple of explosion, um, custom source maps, campfire, which also covers realistic fire, uh, object source, you know, sp uh, shockwave, smoke trails. We got it all here. And I will keep doing them. Please, guys, subscribe if you haven't already. Um, leave a comment, and I will keep making these tutorials. Keep it real, guys. See you.